I'm Batman. Hmm? All right, we gotta stop with the fun in games because we have to bring you the latest news for Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, and beyond. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be wonderful. Yes, I actually came up wanted to do that little Batman thing because, look, I don't want to talk much about this. This isn't its own individual story. But uh, the Batman trilogy or whatever was added to Nintendo Switch, and let's just say all of them are good except Arkham Knight. Do not buy Arkham Knight. Don't believe me? Just check this out. This is impossible. How do you release a game like this? This is unfair. What are you doing? Don't worry, Tim. He's mine. I hope. No! It's actually really difficult to drive. My, this must be like 10 FPS. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Yeah. It's not good. But that's not the news we got for you today. We got stuff on Pokemon. We got things on Mother 3. Oh yes, a small update on Mother 3. How is there even an update? Well, we'll talk about that and more. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive into the news. <laughs> So our first story deals with a brand new Pokemon game heading our way, at least according to the rumor mill. And all of this is coming in from Centro Leaks. So let's just briefly summarize this so we can get into our next story. So Centro Leaks went ahead and put up some information from the Pokemon company where they posted about Pokemon Day 2024, noting an announcement that the Pokemon company yesterday confirmed celebrations will be happening and just Pokemon Day in general in 2024. Of course, the actual announcement by the Pokemon Company talked about Pokemon Horizons The Series, which is the new animated series run of the Pokemon show. That's cool, and yes, it will likely debut or at least be teased on Pokemon Day. However, we know Pokemon Day isn't just any other thing. It often has a streamed event with several Pokemon announcements. Central Leaks stated a new mainline series Pokemon game is expected to be announced that day. Now, reminder, mainline series games aren't just like the new generations. It could be remasters, remakes of the old generations, a Let's Go game. Heck, it could even be a new Legends game. Those are all considered mainline. Now, on the surface, this doesn't really mean much because we expected a new mainline game next year. But here's the thing, Central Leaks didn't stop there. Someone asked them if the game hardware at the time of the new release would be Nintendo Switch or the successor. Central Leaks simply said, both. So there you have it, both. What are we supposed to do with that information? But to be honest, I don't really know. Uh, it might be coming to Switch 2, it might not. Rumors are what rumors are. <sighs> at least Central Leaks is, uh, a bit more reliant than Zippo. As a reminder, this is what I did to Zippo earlier this week. Next up, hey, Earthbound, baby. How about getting to talk a little bit about Mother 3 and, oh, you know, something that Nintendo took into consideration at one point. There's actually a massive fan-translated project out there in existence for Mother 3 that was offered to Nintendo to actually help bring the game to the West, assuming that there was any translations issues. Well, it turns out that according to the creator of Earthbound, iToy, yeah, Nintendo actually did consider using this fan translation. So what the heck happened? Well, he actually detailed this in an Earthbound documentary he created. And uh, here's what he had to say. I've talked about it with Nintendo before. Apparently they were presented with the offer to use the translation, but they said it wasn't quite as simple as that. I think it'd be really interesting if they took up the offer. It'd be hard to make something like, say, an automobile with fans, but doing it with software, I believe there'd be a chance to make something that would be better than the company could have made on their own. But yeah, honestly, we don't really know if we'll ever get Mother 3, Earthbound 3. iToy certainly isn't doing anything about it. He wishes it would come over. He doesn't work at Nintendo anymore. But hey, it is nice to see that Nintendo did consider the fan translation, and I think he's almost suggesting the fan translation is better than Nintendo internal would do. Kind of interesting, I don't know if he's just like taking a pot shot at Nintendo and Turtle, or if he just thinks fans took a lot more care with it. 
I don't know. As someone who actually played Mother 3 via the fan translation, yes, emulator back in the day. I'm sorry. I know I don't really emulate games, but Nintendo's not giving me this one in English to do. Ah, it's awesome. I, I actually think the fan translation is great. I hope Nintendo can reconsiders it someday. I just want to see this game come out. It's part of gaming history. It's literally been re-released in Japan a bunch of times. It's just time to bring it west. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3! How about this instead? Now, I might not be much of a Trek head myself, but you know what? It is nice to find out that a game that was already released on other platforms and hasn't even been announced for Switch is coming to Nintendo Switch, and we found that out today thanks to the Australian ratings boards. Yes, that's right, Star Trek Resurgence is on its way to Nintendo Switch. Now, when I was trying to get some information on this game, because it has released, there's not really a lot of reviews for it, unfortunately. However, there is a lot of positive fan ratings on the various game shops, like the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store, and Steam. But what's really interesting looking at this is it was made by former Telltale developers who formed a brand new studio called Dramatic Labs. And as you could tell with the reviews I did check out for it, that is basically like a Telltale game. Uh, maybe without some of the overhead and fluff we've seen with some of the other ones, I don't really know, but if you are a Trek head, I don't know. Beam me up, Scotty. Is that even a thing from Star Trek? I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it is, but if it is, beam me up. Next up, we get to talk about Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition, which is quite interesting because technically this game has not even been announced. Well, I guess technically it's announced now. But there were some rating boards leaks for it earlier this year that said it was coming to Nintendo Switch. But an oopsie was made today as a listing for the game appeared on the Xbox Game Store. So with that, we have a bunch of screenshots and some information on the game. So swoop into the marvelous world of Hillies as action reporter Jade to investigate the mysterious Dom's alien attacks alongside colorful characters like her adoptive uncle, PJ, or the valiant Double H. Embark on this adventure and up to 4K 60 FPS, by the way, this is on the Xbox, with improved graphics controls and audio, along with brand new autosave and cross-save features. Enjoy exclusive new rewards as you explore the planet and discover more about Jade's past in a new adventure, Hunt Through Hillies. Put your skills to the test thanks to the new speedrun mode and updated achievements and learn more about the game's development and secrets in the Anniversary Gallery. Armed with her Dejo, the faithful camera, Jade's adventure will get you to freely explore hillies, combat creatures large and small, infiltrate dangerous areas, solve enigmatic puzzles, play addictive minigames, race the best hovercraft pilots, and take pictures of the whole experience. Be ready to dive into a trailblazing blend of action gameplay and thrilling emotional cutscenes. And again, this was a thing, technically wasn't announced, but guess what? Uh, Cat's out of the bag, and Ubisoft decided to release a statement. Additional information, including when we could actually expect this game to release. Well, looks like the cat's out of the bag. Dang nabbit. Happy 20th anniversary to Beyond Good and Evil. Well, we cannot wait to show you more about this special edition. More news is coming in early 2024. An early development version of Beyond Good and Evil 20th anniversary was recently released to some Ubisoft Plus subscribers by mistake. We apologize for any confusion and want to ensure our community that this version is not indicative of the final game. As we celebrate the 20th anniversary of Beyond Good and Evil, our commitment to delivering a game that meets the high expectations of our fans is unwavering. We're excited to announce that the official launch is set for early 2024, and we're dedicated to making it an experience that truly honors the legacy of the original Thank you for your understanding and continued support. Now, obviously, when we get this, I'm actually really glad we're getting this. I hope it ends up being really, really good. Uh, the original was really good back on the GameCube in 2003. What's crazy is while well, it released on GameCube back then and it's re-released on other platforms, we never actually had it re-released on the Nintendo platform. So, so this would be actually the first time we've gotten this game to come back. So another GameCube remaster, baby, coming our way from Ubisoft this time. Of course, all of us really want to know what the heck is going on with Beyond Good and Evil 2. No updates there. Feels like the game's in development hell. But uh, it's technically not canceled. 
Although the director left and not some other stuff. Oh, lots of shenanigans there. But either way, hey, early 2024, we get to play this awesome classic. And that's about gonna wrap it up here. Kind of a short and sweet episode. We just had, you know, a handful of stories there. Some really cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Didn't want to waste too much of your time. Just remember, I'm 